Hey folks, so today I'm planning to do another project which we can call transform your van into a spray mobile spray boot. So I have a sprinter van, the tall one and the long one, and the idea is to convert this into a temporary spray boot. I used to, I was trying to spray, I needed to spray some, some parts, but when you're doing some painting or spraying outside, no matter how clean you make the floor environment you always become some dust and particles that always stick into your pants so uh, basically simply idea I would want to create a tunnel a dust free tunnel over here I'll wrap the plastic around and use this section up here that I can take down for inlet to bring the air in and the air will flow and uh, I have a ramp up there, but the ramp will go down and I will create a small structure where I'll put the extraction fan that will take the overspray or any dust particles out. So uh, I can literally just use a plastic going around. I'll create a plastic tunnel, let's call it that way, and put some flooring inlet. I have some lights up here already, but I put additional lighting up here. And, and basically we'll seal this area as well. I leave only small gaps so I can go in through the door. That back door will be fully open with ramp down and extractor fan going out. And the air will be coming through this direction. I actually will be put, taking this part off and replace that with a, a cardboard or some sort of material. So I don't, we'll cut a hole up here to bring the air out. The idea is that actually possibly have the engine running so the air will be warmer coming in. So I control by temperature. For the extractor fan, this one is an 18 inch one. Uh, probably overkill for, for this uh, small space. However, this one has a speed control. So the idea is to <laughs> basically control how fast the extraction will go so if it's too much I'll just take it down and the reason why I bought such a big one is uh, when I move the house I want to build my own uh, spray booth for you know taking uh, spraying the parts and so on so uh, this is just a temporary solution because I still want to use the van possibly some people say why would you just bother just make it clean and uh, use it as a spray boot if you just need a one or two jobs but you will have overspray on your walls all over the place and you cannot guarantee 100% how clean that will be I actually swiped this floor I washed it but still you cannot guarantee the clean list so with that plastic wrapped around uh, hopefully that will help so the first part of the job was taking this section out so you can see in the car now in the van so the idea is to replace this section with a material that I can draw some holes into. And I found material like this. Uh, this is not aluminum. It's some, some uh, marketing wall. It's just a, some sort of aluminum sticker, but you can uh, drill through without any issues. And I made actually holes. I copied with the original uh, part and I just put it on and make a circles where it's supposed to go. So the idea is just this place them here back on the original place do it on the other side as, as well so it fits nicely and then basically use this that I brought uh, out of this tool station for the ducting so I do the hole fits in quite nicely I might do a bit of a silicon to make sure there is no gap where unfiltered air will be coming through. Yes, I do have some gaps over here, but that will be sealed with the tape, making sure it's properly sealed all over. And then of course there will be a filter up here, so the air coming through inside the boot will be filtered. And also there will be like a, a duct uh, hose going in into the a small fan that will be blowing air inside. Optionally, what you can do is, just leave this section as it is now and you could basically if you would put a massive filter just in this section without any air blowing in so now I sealed off 
this section to make sure I'm limiting the amount of unfiltered air coming in so this is nice and tight however I still will be putting a plastic sheet all over this section because you can still see there are some gaps going inside the driver's cabin so I'm gonna make sure that I'm doing all this stuff and then I have a gaps uh, where the air could come in without any filtration same on the bottoms I'll cover this with a tape but as I said this whole section will be just massive one plastic sheet to make sure I have a good seal and I'm controlling the air that is coming inside the cabin of course I will be blowing everything through here before I put a massive plastic sheets all over the place so sh should be pretty airtight if, if I can say and also uh, uh, filtered so I'd, I'm, I'm limiting the amount of any dust particles coming through this section so, so at this stage I put a plastic around Try to keep it seal, air seal. There you go. Yeah, it seems to be that like there is a hole, but there's actually not not a tape underneath it, so that's fine. So there is no air coming through. That's fine. And up here as well. Actually, what I'm gonna do is to put some wood over here and secure this because I did put a tape up here. But when the wind is blowing from the other side, sometimes uh, the force, because it's a big, big space, will push that plastic towards towards me. So if I put up tiny parts of wood and just hit a nail or screw, that should do the job. And also up here, when the compressor is running, I put a little kind of a, a slope coming into the fan because what you don't want to do, you don't want to create a 90 degree angle because any dust or particles that you want to get out will be basically creating a swirl over here in this area it will not get out this way uh, as the air will travel, it, it will go easier out so right now, in the middle of the <coughs> putting the foil up around the whole van well, it's going pretty good not bad, obviously you need to have a large foil, uh, this one is the one specifically designed for painting the cars so it's the special surface that paint will stick into it so it don't flick so this one is 5 meter wide and it's about 100 meters in the roll so <laughs> plenty of that so that's how I'm putting it together if you will wonder why I'm putting tape over here in these sections, so basically you need to the tape uh, that the plastic needs to hold into something so I'm creating contact points around the van so when the fan will be blowing you don't have uh, uh, the, the plastic just flipping around just like here you know, if it doesn't have any contact points it will be moving a lot so the more contact points you create the more st stable walls you will have and the way I'm doing it is just to simply cut the plastic put the tape in it so obviously you need to make some bit of a contact space there we go I like that and you just put a tape in here and just put it across it's difficult because I'm using just one hand just like that and I'll put it through make a contact there you can see the darker space is the contact area with a surface and the light area is the contact with the plastic so that should be quite enough to hold it still I'm trying to do that around the whole van obviously I will continue with the plastic around up on the wall and it's gonna meet somewhere up here now let's keep going so here's the latest update I have basically changed my setup slightly because when I done some test spraying uh, the fan was creating so much negative pressure that the walls been actually being <laughs> pulled out so the tape was not strong enough uh, to hold that force so what I actually did I modified this section I cut a larger holes over here 
and I installed a filtration that is used in the, in the paint booth. There's also filter up here and also as the air is coming in inside as well. Um, obviously it's a bit colder this time of the year so I'm using a bit of a radiator to take the temperature. But today is just fine. I have just 18 degrees over here but I like to spray around 20, 22, something like that. That's just probably the perfect temperature. Uh, here's my setup. So the air is running inside through the cabin out of the compressor. Here's my Expel 30. That's basically catching any water. And then I have two filtrations regulator that is coming up to the hose right up here. And then basically I can reach all the way up here and do some, some painting. So the setup itself is, I would say, excellent. I've done some spraying already, basically zero dust. So that's fantastic news. Zero dust, that's, you know, hardly, hardly happens, but uh, I was quite happy with that. So if you will be installing anything like this in your van, uh, you would need to consider larger entry or maybe a smaller fan. However, I'm quite actually happy with that fan because when I adjust uh, the speed up here, when I'm spraying uh, my lacquer or a clear coat, you know, I can switch on the fan a bit higher and it gets out everything out of the space fairly quickly. So it's just the balancing out the outlet with the in inlet uh, as well. Uh, just, just to show you right up here, they have another fan that literally is pushing in uh, the air. It was a bit of a filtration so I don't catch any extra dust from, from the cabin and it's going right up here inside. Yeah. So that's the setup now. I'm actually very happy with it. This is the uh, hose that is going into the compressor out. So I'm getting air in through it through the cabin up here. So when I'm painting, I'm just completely closing inlet cell. When I have that negative pressure up here in the cabin, you know, I'm not getting any air in because obviously the door seals are holding quite all right. I haven't seen any extra uh, dust coming in. So everything is coming through that filtration and out. So uh, I'll do some other spring uh, tomorrow and I'll do some recording and see how it goes.